What's going on everybody? Jen Min here. Today we're going to talk about some spec characters that kind of flopped, that kind of let down. And I thought who better to bring on the mic uh, than my co-host for the top 10 back issues over at Comic Tom 101, Comic Tom himself. What's going on, man? Yo, what's good, Jem? What's good, Geminites? It's always good to be back. I feel so welcomed by this community and you know I'm part of it. How you feeling, brother? <laughs> yeah, man. So I wanted to have like an informal talk with you, talking about some characters, specifically Donny Cates characters. So guys, this is going to contain spoilers for Venom and Thor. If you don't want to get spoiled on those books, you're going to have to cut out now because we're talking about books that uh, had first appearances. People were specking, people were buying in and investing in these first appearances. So we're going to be talking about the Black Winter. We're going to be talking about Virus and we're going to be talking about Codex. And I wanted to bring this up because I always get a little bit nervous when I see people buying in, jumping in on this hot new book, this hot new character, because really, it takes a lot for a, a key issue to really pop, right? To really get big and global. I mean, typically it needs like movie news, right? Yeah, it typically does. And when we're covering this hot list every single week, some books that make their way on there... They're there because they're selling. People are buying them aggressively. And then we're trying to figure out like what's placing them there. But then who are we to say whether or not a book that's selling for five hundred to a thousand dollars above what it once was was like not a good deal? Cause clearly it made its way up to there at some point. But yes, when you're considering modern books, ones that are variants, cover B's and store exclusives, when they're outselling books that are tried and true, Silver Age for 40, 50 years strong, it, it makes it a little difficult to know where you should be spending your money. And we saw some major characters specced on this year that have also seen some major decrease in spec and dollars being spent in a short quarter. Yeah, and just like to clarify, Tom does a video, his top 10 list is based off of sales. It's based on what the market's doing. So this is a really a conversation about the market. And everybody wants to jump in on that new next thing. They want to get the first appearance of Null. They want to get these new characters now before they really take off. So let's talk about like three characters in three books, right? Let's start off with the Black Winter. The Black Winter first appeared in Thor issue five. And it was basically the creature that destroyed the previous universe uh, from where our universe was born. The universe that had only one survivor, which is Galactus himself. So this story arc was so epic, so huge, people started really buying in on this character's first appearance. Donny Cates knew what he was doing when he decided to mess with the Galactus origin, literally retconning things. I like to say he gold-balled it, doing something that no one expected to someone that no one was thinking about, but changing it, making collectors excited and hungry for what was to come. There was a lot of hype behind this character and the cameo appearances. He was coming. It was being alluded that he would show up. The hype was real and people wanted to aggressively get their copy because this villain was so momentous and everyone who missed out on the boat to invest in Null were now looking at this as another potential. It was definitely an epic character and the book was selling for $400. Looking at uh, eBay sold listings, looking at GPA, selling for $400. But the problem with this character is at the end of the arc, spoiler alert, He's dead. <laughs> so there's not this big build up to this big character that could last forever. Now, I mean, he could come back, but the fact that he kind of was defeated and now we're on to the next thing was a little disheartening and the sales reflected that. Now you're looking at GPA, it's going from 400, 300, 200 to $100 for this character. I'm even seeing a low sale of 90. Clearly, comic collectors were thinking that this character would do more in the comic universe. I'm thinking that he's probably going to show up again, but the focus is on Null right now, and we may not hear about the Black Winter for some time. Thus, that aggressive spec was premature. You got to go by the story, and you really got to go by your gut feeling on how it's being written. We don't know how Donny Cates is going to utilize these characters. However, some characters that we're going to get to definitely were more of a disappointment than hype that could be looked forward to in the future yeah you took the words right out of my mouth the black winter could potentially come back he could do bigger things so it's not that this book is a complete letdown but talking about complete letdowns let's move on to the next character which is virus 
Virus showed up, and now correct me if I'm wrong, Tom. It was like Venom 25, then Free Comic Book Day, then Venom 26, right? That's right. It wasn't just solicited that Virus was going to make his first appearance in a free comic book day. We had Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman both letting individuals know in the community, including myself, in interview when I covered it at C2E2 for the CGC, that he was going to make his appearance in this book that you could get for free. They were kind of trying to do a solid for comic book stores, but because of pandemic, it was released later than his appearance in the Venom run. Yeah, I was always skeptical about this because this character comes out, he's got like War Machine and Iron Man uh, armor like duct taped together and he knew Eddie Brock and he mentioned that Eddie Brock ruined his life. So I already was thinking like this is a character that we already know and I knew that would mean that the virus first appearance wasn't really going to pop. Now come to find out it was Mac Gargan aka the Scorpion who was also Venom before is Virus. So it just makes the virus first appearance like meh. You know, we, his big key is always going to be Spider-Man 20 when he is uh, when he first appeared in the Silver Age. So that that book, whatever kind of hype it had, whatever type of spec was into it, has definitely shot. And, and it, it's going to get worse, especially if Virus ends up not being Virus anymore and he just goes to playing old Matt Gargan again. Marvel Knights 10, the first appearance of Matt Gargans as Venom, was a book of spec over a month ago before any of the reveals happened. That put this book on the trending list selling for upwards of $50 plus. Get this, when the spoilers went out weeks later and spec was proved to be validated that this character had something to do in the Venom series, the fact that he turned out to be Virus actually caused the book to trend again, but at a lower rate, closer to $30. This means one thing. Collectors and speculators weren't as impressed by this reveal as other Donny Cates reveals in the past. Thus, this book did not sell as aggressively. Clearly, it's kind of uncertain how much hype is going to be behind this version of Venom and this new character. And then the third character, the last character we're going to talk about, it's kind of the same boat. It's Codex, which was a big dark villain in the current run Venom Beyond. So basically, Venom, uh, with his son Dylan, followed by Virus, uh, gets transported into this alternate universe. Man, Tom, I thought they said this was the original Ultimate Universe, where the maker was from, but is that not the case now? No, it's seemingly a version where Eddie Brock doesn't survive, and it's post that OG survival where the other characters have to take on the work of the symbiote, and you have different secret Venom agents such as Cletus Cassidy and Deadpool and Peter Parker. It's actually pretty cool, but yeah, it's not the same Ultimate Universe but I'm not as well-versed in Spidey lore, so I could be mistaken. Yeah, this is a world where a villain named Codex has taken over, who looks eerily like Null, actually. But when Codex was revealed to really be that universe's version of Dylan, the spec kind of just ran out. The Dylan keys are already hot. You have his cameo in Venom 7, his first full appearance in issue 9. Those are already hot because of this character playing such a large role in this run. So Codex just being a version of Dylan really crashed the speculation on this book. Couldn't agree more. I'm really hoping that Dylan's future isn't only Codex because a lot of the Dylan spec was dependent on him having, I believe, a larger role or possible connection to Null because of his relationship with the symbiote. So it's these types of reveals that, although are still interesting and could make for a good narrative, it's causing spec to turn away and causing numbers to shoot down pretty aggressively. I think it's good to note that, you know, Donny Cates doesn't write comics for us to spec on and buy first appearances. And, and these kind of loops that he throws us for is proof of that. He even just tweeted, as of this recording, it was last night, that he loves writing a frog, which is like a... Uh, a nod to the Thor Throg character who's going to be playing a part in the arc, I guess. Uh, but that doesn't mean that everybody should go buy the first appearance of, uh, f how do you say it, Throg, <laughs> uh, just because Donnie is going to put him in a current run. I think we're, we're jumping too quick at these spec books. You know, now when, when stuff gets its own movies, its own video games, and starts engraving itself into pop culture, I mean, th that's when those first appearances really sustain themselves as collectibles. I agree with you there, Jem. Most of the time, this is how it goes with comics. They're so volatile and they depend so heavily on the narrative. But 
Then there's times like Peter Porker's Spectacular Spider-Ham. Who was specking on that character? And when those gains hit because of his appearance in the animated film, we had a generation of non-comic book collectors, children that were introduced to now what is more familiar to them than Ben Riley even. So you really don't know where it's going to go. And it's those types of chances that makes this game so fun. Yeah, I guess the point is you got to take the good with the bad. You have to be ready for a spec to not pan out for you. And you have to be surprised on maybe a book like that Peter Porker that you had in your long box that ended up taking off out of nowhere. Uh, Tom, I want to thank you for coming on, chatting with me about this. You guys need to go over to Comic Tom 101 to subscribe. We do a weekly top 10 back issue video over there. Plus, he does his other videos as well. And while you're here, make sure that you uh, subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Hit the like if you enjoyed it. And drop us a comment down below. What do you think about these first appearance specs when they don't pan out and when they pop off? Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. And geek responsibly, Gemini.